Hello everyone and welcome to another Factorio series. In this series I am going to explain mods. Specific mods, how they work, stuff like that. It will mostly feature mods uh, that requires some kind of explanation. Slightly more complicated mods. Uh, maybe not the straightforward ones, like texture improvements and that. Uh, of course it's gonna focus on mods that uh, me, myself, use in some way. Maybe in the Let's Play, maybe in my private place. And uh, this first episode I'll just simply show how you install mods. And explain a little bit about basically what mods is. Mods is uh, packages made by the community that somehow changes the game, modifies the game, hence the name's mods. Uh, to install mods, you simply go into the mods menu, and in here you have uh, a list of installed mods, so if you don't have any, you only have the base mod here. Uh, you can toggle each mod, uh, enable or disable it. Uh, to install mods in version uh, th um, 0 0.13 and uh, forward, you can do that from inside the game. You click, simply click Install Mods. After a little while, after it has uh, requested a list from the server, you will get a list of mods. Here you simply mark them out, you can read a, sort, uh, read a short summary, and uh, click Install. After you have installed one or several mods, and then click back, uh, the game is gonna restart. Uh, and then the mod is loaded, and then you can simply start playing if you want. Uh, you can also update the mods. As you can see here now, already, Factorissimo is marked as yellow. It has automatically, when I requested the list, detected that there's an update. If you don't need, want to go into this menu, you can cl simply click check for updates. And uh, once it's done, uh, it will mark updated mods. So Factoritismo is updated. Uh, so let's update mods. That will update all mods. And of course, it restarts the game to load the new mod. Well, that was it for the first episode. Next episode, we will take a look at Ferrectissimo. Thank you for watching.